What's going on you guys? In today's video, I'm super excited to bring you guys the new 2019 Ram 2500. These are our two 2019 Rams we just got in. Our first truck was a tradesman. I waited, we got a nice long horn over here and we got a big horn over here. Both of these trucks are really nicely specced out. They're both, you know, fully loaded on both ends, especially this big horn here. It's got the, you know, the nice LED lights and everything like that. So with these nice new trucks here, in today's video, we're gonna be going over pretty much a full comparison not only between you know the the longhorn and the bighorn but kind of give you guys a review of the trucks i will take these out for a little test drive tell you guys how it feels also we just got our first high output cummins it's a uh, tradesman dually two-wheel drive so i will give you guys a little quick test drive of the thousand foot pounds of torque model at the end of the video but these guys right here are both 2500s which means they have the standard output cummins turbo diesel with 370 horsepower and 850 foot pounds of torque. If you guys want to option out to get that high output Cummins, you have to get a 3500, which then it'll be an option, and that is 400 horsepower and 1,000 foot pounds of torque, but you can only get those on the 3500s. So kind of going over this truck, I guess we'll just kind of pick out the big horn here. You can see, I really do like the front end. They got a whole new redesign obviously on the front end here and it really does look nice especially in person i will say i did a lot of the pictures online i didn't know if i liked it or not but now actually seeing it in person it's just oh my gosh like it just looks perfect it looks amazing i love the big grill the headlights i really do like these headlights versus these ones these ones are the upgraded longhorn or laramie limited headlights i really do like these right here these come standard on the laramies they are an option on the Bighorn, which this one does have. And you can actually get these, surprisingly enough, you can actually get those on the Tradesmans now. It's pretty crazy. You can get a safety group on a Tradesman and you can get adaptive cruise control, LED lighting, and forward collision warning on a Tradesman now, which is pretty crazy. It's about like a $2,000 option for a Tradesman, which is honestly really nice. But kind of going over this, I want to show you guys what's new with the truck. As you can see, this one does have the towing technology group which i think is probably the best option for these new trucks as you can see not only the mirrors do look a little bit different but you got like a little spotlight right there and you got the surround view camera which is really nice also with trailer reverse guidance so you can see down the whole side of the trailer i'll show you guys that when we step inside but going around the back a lot of the same you got the cargo camera up there with that package you also do get a step here with the bed utility group it comes down just like that and to put it away, you just give it a little push and it goes right in. But that comes with the bed liner group there. But coming around to the back, you have those nice LED taillights, new different bumper. You have the tailgate, which of course is uh, dampened now. So really nice there. Going around here to the other side, these are new rims, of course, for 2019. These are the optional uh, 20 inch rims on the Bighorn. And really nice truck. I really do like it. The only thing I, one thing I did kind of notice with this is kind of weird. You got like a badge there, there, and then there. I feel like I'd probably delete this badge if I got this truck, but definitely do like that up there. It does look really nice. Um, this truck is honestly really good looking. I really do like how it looks. I, I love the front bumper, the big tow hooks there, and those LED lights just really make it stand out. Let's see if we can uh, get those to turn on. This truck does have remote start, so you can do that. Let's see if we can get these lights here turned on. And But before we do that, I would like to mention this engine is also all new. They redesigned a lot of the engine, the transmission. So when I go to remote start it here, you can definitely hear what you guys to notice how quiet this truck is. It's really surprising. I mean, they not only made the truck uh, like 250 pounds lighter, but just from the engine, they made it 60 pounds lighter. They've really redone the engine and in that process, I mean, it's extremely quiet. Here, let's turn her on. Like, like that's really quiet for a diesel. Like you don't even hear like any of that, like clink, 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 you know, like that normal diesel noise. Obviously the truck is a little low on fuel, so that's why it turned off. But I wanted to give you guys that look at the headlights. Let's turn it on from the inside. This thing is just extremely quiet. Like I'm able to talk and it's insane how much quieter this truck is over the previous one. But giving you guys a look at those uh, headlights right there. I mean, I really do love how those look. Coming over here, you can just see it. Oh, I, I honestly think this is the best headlight configuration on the new trucks, but popping the hood here, you can see, did change it a little bit. Um, as you can see, we got these like bars over here now, didn't used to have these, but the engine's completely different. Like I noticed, like look at the turbo, it's actually, you can actually see it now. Before, you used to not 
might be able to pull the turbo out a little bit more, making it a lot easier to see there. It's definitely a completely different design with uh, the engine. As you can see, you got the new CP4. They switched from uh, the CP3 over to the CP4 right there. So, really nice, I mean, and it's quiet too. Like closing it up, you can barely even tell it's a diesel. It's it's honestly really surprising. Now before we hop in on the inside of the Bighorn, let's uh, give you guys a little bit of how this truck sounds. I'm gonna set the uh, camera up right here and give you guys a little exhaust clip. Definitely a lot quieter there and you can actually hear the turbo pretty good from the inside of the cab. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker, then we'll go right on inside. This is a 2019 Ram 2500 Bighorn Crew Cab. You can see there is the base price. There's the interior colors, as you can see. This is how you can tell if it's a standard output truck. It has the 68 RFE right there. Otherwise, it would say Eisen, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. Or another way to tell is the dipstick for the transmission. If your dipstick is on this side of the truck for the transmission, that means it's the standard output Chrysler engine. If it is on this side of the truck, that means it is the Eisen 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. And that is same for older models and these newer 2019s. Going through, let's take a quick look at the options here. Just give you guys a zoomed out look so that way you guys can see it. If you wanna pause, take a look at it, you can. But getting close up, you can see we got that nice trailer technology group. Then we got the protection group cold weather we have the bed utility this is a level two so this is a pretty loaded up uh, big horn as you can see you get a lot of features right there then you got the anti-spin that cummins diesel with that cummins diesel uh, premium there nine alpine speakers nav and those 20 inch wheels comes out to a big uh sixty eight thousand dollars right there here we go stepping on the inside Got the doors closed and this thing is quiet. You can barely tell that this is a Cummins diesel truck. You got the nice new style gauges, which are really nice. I really do like these. You can customize all of these in there, which makes it really nice truck. But coming over here, I mean, obviously this doesn't have the rotary knob. You have the traditional style shifter, which is uh, really nice. But you get plenty of room in here. Lots of storage space. You can put your phone right there. Lots of technology, USB ports, got another one there. And Ram really did a nice job with this truck. As for differences, um, I noticed this right here, you can actually select your source and uh, move them over. You didn't, you weren't able to do this uh, before on the older eight inch screens. You can do this on the 12 inch screen, but you can't do this on the uh, older trucks. This truck has heated seats, heated steering wheel. I mean, most of the standard features there. The only thing this truck actually doesn't have for the big horn is it doesn't have the safety group, meaning it doesn't have the adaptive cruise control, which you can get on big horns now, which is really nice option to have. Really a lot like the uh, fifth gen truck. So, I mean, the back seats, though are kind of similar to fourth gens, they are styled like fifth gens. So the only thing that's really new is when you come over here, they kind of put this big old button right there. And that is actually one of the cool features if you select you know the left and you select that button there left side look at this you can actually move the outer mirror as you can see i am moving the outer mirror so not only can you move the outer mirror but if you turn that button off you can move the other mirror it's actually a really cool feature that you can do with these new trucks i mean i like the fact that you can control the outer mirror there, really nice, especially on that side over there, makes it really easy to use. That is part of that towing technology group, which is uh, definitely a nice option to have. Just kind of showing you guys around the truck. Door panel, a little bit different. You got a nice little trim up in there. Looks a lot like the new fifth gen Rams. The seat is actually the same as a fourth gen, but uh, styled like the fifth gen trucks, which is a little different, but still really nice interior. I really do like how they did it. But going to the back seat here, you can see this is still being the older cab, the fourth gen cab. You uh, don't get that uh, flat load storage, so you still have the old uh, fourth gen style that folds out like this, but still pretty nice. I mean, you get two cup holders here, two there, pull this down, you got two more there, plus two more up there. I mean, this truck has like insane amount of cup holders, but really nice, really do like the interior of this truck, but 
now that we've kind of taken a look at the big horn, let's go take a look at this long horn over here because this is where the truck is like really nice. This is, they really went all out on that interior design on that long horn over there. Let's just give you guys a quick walk around of the long horn. As you can see, this one actually has 18 inch rims. These are the standard wheels. It doesn't have the optional 20s on it like the big horn over here does, but still really nice look. I mean, you got the big old Longhorn Laramie badge, which is actually like a really nice badge. It's like a brushed aluminum, like it looks really nice. Also got the trailer technology group on this truck too. You got the camera in there and everything. But going around to the sides, you can see you again got the uh, LED tail lights. And this being a Longhorn, it does have the uh, tailgate open button there. So you can open it up from anywhere I guess you could say. This one also does have the uh, fifth wheel towing group in it, which is real nice. Super easy to lift up this tailgate. I mean, it's uh, dampened and everything. And then you got this huge Longhorn badge over here too. I actually really like this one. Looks really nice here on the back of the truck. Going around the other side. I really do like how these new uh, heavy duties look. These are really nice trucks, especially on the front end. I really think they killed it. I love this grill design versus that one over there. Just the big bars going across just looks really nice. I do like the Longhorn front end, how that looks. Out of looking at them all though, I think the Laramie is probably my favorite in terms of look. I'll have to show you guys that in a later video. But let's take a look on the inside and check out the inside of this Longhorn. Really nice too, you got keyless entry, so you just touch behind there, open it up, and now you do have power running boards. These are an option now for 2019, so makes it getting into the truck really easy. As you can see, the interior is just beautiful on this truck. I, I really do love the attention to detail from all these different materials, the wood grain, which is like extremely, like it's it's real wood. It feels amazing, especially this leather is like insanely soft. On the inside, you got the nice little ram seal there. Really nice floor mats, which you can actually remove the carpet if you want and just have all rubber floor mats, but it does give you the option, which is really nice. Then I actually really like this interior. This is the black and cattle tan interior. And so it's got the black and it's got this really nice like dark tan material. And it's just amazing with the Laramie Longhorn edition just embroidered into the seat there. Really does make this truck stand out. Stepping on the inside, got the nice leather wrapped handle there. And really nice on the inside. You got the nice wood grain trim. You can actually see like little imperfections in there, which is crazy. Like. This is like real wood. This ain't no fake plastic stuff. You would find in uh, other trucks, but you got more wood grain. You got it literally everywhere. All this is like soft leather all the way through the top. The tension to detail on this truck is amazing. Like they really went all out for the interior on these Longhorns and uh, Limiteds. But as you can see, this one does have the optional auxiliary switches right there. So you have those and you still have obviously like your tow haul buttons and everything. This one does have the wireless charger down here. You also have your 400 uh, watt house outlet. Also really nice you get, whereas the big horn was just open up right here, you have the nice little doors for the uh, little storage here and the cup holders, which is really nice. Like the material is just amazing. It's You can feel the grooves in it. It's really nice. Then you also have the uh, nice badge here for the uh, Laramie Longhorn. One thing though they did not carry over from the uh, 1500s is they do not have the panoramic sunroof, but you can obviously still get this sunroof. Me being a little bit taller, I like trucks without the sunroof, but still very nice. And obviously you got that 12 inch screen, which is just amazing. It really makes the truck look like futuristic and uh, makes it feel really high end. Starting up the Cummins diesel, extremely quiet. Seats moving forward for me. You got your nice cooled seat there, which I will be turning on, heated cooled seats. This truck also does have the uh, 17 speaker Harman Kardon sound system, which does sound amazing. I can't show you guys too much of it because I don't want to get copyrighted. It really is a nice sound system for the truck. This truck does have the adaptive cruise right here. So you press that, you get the adaptive cruise control and everything right there. I want to go over one of my favorite features with the new truck and that is the camera system. You can access it by either going into reverse or if you would like to, you can always just access it by pressing the camera button there. But really nice though, now for 2019, you do get the top view there and you do get a lot of different views for the camera. You get a full rear, you get a full front, you get a 
front and the top view and then one of the coolest ones is going over here now you have your cargo camera which you can use if you have a fifth wheel or gooseneck hitch back there with a guidance line they added that for the 2500s or heavy duty trucks which you can also adjust you can move that line to either side and then obviously you have your normal backup camera and you can also zoom in on that backup camera that way if you're connecting a trailer it makes it really nice and easy but here's one of the cool things this is the uh trailer reverse guidance you have both sides of the truck that way if you have a trailer back here you can see it on either side and if you want to say the trailer is more on this side you can actually move the camera angle over by tapping giving you a kind of full left side view or a full right side view if you want to go over there so that's really cool i really do like this feature i think this would be really nice you know if you're towing something you want to make sure you know you're not going to hit a curb or something back there with your trailer really a nice feature for the truck and you can also select all those right down here if you want to go straight to the cargo camera or straight to the backup camera. Now kind of showing you guys the uh, gauge cluster and kind of the attention to detail here on the Longhorn. You can really see really see how they made this truck feel like really high end. Like the attention to detail around all the gauges there. Really nice touch. You can also customize all four corners of these and each side of the uh, infotainment center here. And also the top too. You can really customize everything which is awesome on this truck. You can change it between any of these gauges right here. I mean, you got all your normal temperatures, everything. You got your boost pressure. This is a new gauge for 2019. You have a diesel particulate filter gauge. They have a sensor in there to tell you how full your uh, exhaust system is with uh, diesel soot. So cool new gauge there, I guess. And also keep going, oil live, fuel filter, and all the other gauges. There's the exhaust brake one, which I have up in the corner over there. and going through everything else. There you guys go, there's kind of like an overview of the Longhorn. Here, I'll step outside. Look at that, got the nice side steps there. Let me give you guys a quick look at the back. Also the window sticker, I didn't show you guys the window sticker on this truck. As you can see, 2019 Laramie Longhorn Crew Cab. Base price is $59,000. You got the diamond black, you got that black and cattle tan interior colors. Kind of give you guys a little zoom out there. If you guys want to pause and take a look at it, you can, but going over it, you got all the standard features, and then you got the option. You got that towing technology group, which is definitely a really nice. You got the safety group, which is a good option to have. Get the adaptive cruise control. Then you got the level one, which gives it the 17 speaker Harman Kardon navigation, the wireless charger, the power running boards. Really nice stuff there. You got your anti-spin, power sunroof, and this truck actually has dual alternators. I actually haven't even checked under the hood. We'll have to take a quick look at that. But looking at the back seat, you have heated seats back here, plenty of USB ports, power outlet, you know, air conditioning ducts, cup holders, even more cup holders, and of course, even more cup holders. So really nice interior back here. Really does make the truck look nice and appear amazing in person it's got those nice little saddle bags back here which funny enough actually doesn't open it's actually just appearance that you actually just open it from right over there but you do get the little magnet so you can take a look at it and see what it looks like but it does magnetically go up there and also i do want to tell you another feature that is new for 2019 as you can see this has a 373 rear end before on all the previous like fourth gen trucks like this one right here the Cummins came standard with the 342 and the only way to get a 373 or a 410 was to get the dually option. Now, they are all standard with 373, so they did change the gear ratio for the new trucks. They're all 373 and if you don't want a dually, you can actually get these trucks with a 410 rear end without the dually, which is pretty cool. I like that they're letting you give more of a choice there with the uh, gear ratios. It's actually really nice. Underneath the hood here, you can see this one does have the dual alternators because otherwise that wouldn't be there. That is the second alternator right there. And uh, here is the under the hood of the Longhorn. Same as the Bighorn, other than the fact that this one does have dual alternators, which is pretty nice. Give you guys kind of look at that little turbo back there. It's actually got a little Ram intake from the uh, grill right here, which is actually pretty cool for the uh, new intake system. Kind of give you guys a quick little look at it. Look at that exterior, really nice truck. I mean, I really like what they've done to it. Well, like the new fifth gens, we'll also make it still look like a uh, 
a Cummins truck. Makes it look still like a Ram. It really is a good looking truck right here. You can see these are the Ram LED. These are the headlights that will turn when you drive. You more lighting when taking uh, corners. Let's take this for a uh, little test hey guys, drive, you guys. Taking this truck out on the road and you can really see, not only is this thing powerful, it goes, it gets up and goes. It definitely has a lot of uh, horsepower and torque for uh, the truck it is, for how heavy it is. I mean, it really drives nice. I mean, for the new truck, I mean, just listening, I mean, I have the air conditioning on, cooled seat on, and just listen to how quiet it is. That was cruising at 45 miles an hour. You can barely even tell this is a diesel truck. It's really crazy how smooth and just quiet this thing is. I mean, it's extremely just nice to drive. It's easy to drive. The steering is really nice. I mean, there's no squeaks, no real rattles. I mean, the truck, it just feels solid. It really does feel nice to drive. And I mean, it's a really big vehicle, but with the mirrors and with all the technology of the truck, it really does make it extremely easy to drive. It honestly drives a lot more like a car. Comparing it to the fourth gens, I mean, it felt like a truck, it sounded like a truck. Now it drives really smooth and it's really nice experience. It drives a lot like the half tons, you're just up a little bit higher is all it really feels like. I'll do a full throttle acceleration now. There we go, that was 80. I mean, obviously it's still a big truck. It does take a little bit to uh, get up and go, but cruising down the road is extremely nice in this vehicle. Now here we go, we got the adaptive cruise control. We can set it right there. As you can see, I can turn it all the way up. Say let's go to 75 miles an hour, and it's gonna keep the distance with the vehicle in front of me, which is a really nice feature. I really do like that in the truck. I can shorten down the distance between the car lengths there. I can shorten the car lengths there, making it get a little bit closer, but it's really nice. I mean, I'm literally just sitting back here and the truck is keeping the distance with the vehicle in front of me. This has gotta be one of my favorite features of not only this truck, but just new cars in general. It really does make it really nice to drive on long road trips or just daily commuting. Like I have an hour drive to work. I really wish my charger had this feature. That would be really nice to just be able to sit back let the truck do the uh, distance there. I hate having to sit there and go on the gas, on the better brake, gas, brake. It really does make it nice. Like, look at that, the truck is braking right now and I didn't do anything. Switch over to the other lane and the truck will just follow the car ahead of me and all the way up to 76 miles an hour, what I have it set to, which is really nice. I really do like that with the truck. As you can see, now it's accelerating. It's awesome. I really do love this feature on any car and i really do want my next vehicle my next new vehicle to have this for sure so there you guys go i hope you guys enjoyed this video of the two trucks there was my little comparison and kind of first impressions overview of these new trucks i hope you guys liked this video like the little comparison between the big horn and the long horn let me know in the comments below which one would you take would you take the long horn or the big horn Gotta say, the interior is really nice in that one, but I do love these headlights. I like the dual bars. I just really like that, especially at night. I bet that thing just looks amazing. Especially when you come to think of it, I mean, that one is exactly $10,000 more. So, I mean, is it worth it? You decide. Depends on what you like. I really do like the grill on that one, though. It really does look good. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want any more trim comparisons or just overall reviews of the new 2019 ram 2500s we're just starting to get these trucks in we got our first laramie which is actually over in the showroom at dodge and we got our first couple tradesmen's and this is our first longhorn and our first bighorn in so we're starting to get these trucks in over here at tempe ram these trucks both are available at tempe chrysler dodge jeep or tempe ram is the dealership here that i work at so if you guys are looking for either one of these trucks this beautiful dodge diamond black longhorn or this nice delmonico red bighorn here they're both available online and actually have a little bit of a discount which is actually really cool if you go check online we just got them in and they already got a couple thousand off so that's definitely much needed so thank you guys for watching the video and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and like the video guys if you enjoyed the comparison here if you enjoyed the little review of these trucks Oh, I don't want to forget, we will go test drive that little thousand foot pounds of torque one real quick. So let's go over the dirt lot and take a quick look at that one. And here we guys go. Here we are in the dirt lot. And here is our first thousand foot pound of torque truck we've gotten. This truck hasn't been PDI'd or anything, so that's why it's missing a little things there. But 
This is a 3500 Ram truck. And as you can see, if we pop the hood, you can see that the, the uh, transmission dipstick right here is on the driver's side, meaning this truck does have the Eisen transmission. If you come over here, you can see also on the window sticker, it says right there, Eisen six speed automatic transmission, thousand foot pounds of torque. It says right there, high output Cummins turbo diesel engine. So here we go, let's give this a first little startup, still got all the plastic and everything on the inside. Here's a tradesman and what it looks like. I mean, you just got pretty much all black doors, pretty base. Let's give it a first startup. There you go, it says Ram 35, it says 3500 heavy duty. That's pretty cool. But the truck is in ship mode, so we'll just take it for a little quick spin around the auto loop. And I'll give you guys like a little bit of a feedback on how it feels versus the standard output Cummins. So let's go for a little test drive. Now this truck here does also have the 373 gears. This does not have the 410, though it is a dually, so you can't really tell. So it's not a direct comparison against the other trucks, but it, it is still different. So let's uh, give it a shot here. Let's give it some gas. Wow. Okay, first impressions, I can definitely tell there is a definite little power increase. Like, this is a dually rear end back there, and this thing was uh, going for traction there. Like, this thing uh, gets up and goes, that's for sure. And just cruising, we can give a little bit of gas. Definitely wants to pull a lot harder than uh, the other truck, and I can tell the transmission does shift a little bit different, this being the Eisen transmission but I'll definitely give you guys a little more full review of the uh, thousand foot pound of torque model once we get one of those in in a normal single rear wheel configuration. Here we go, let's give it one more acceleration here. Wow, does that thing wanna pull? Cause this thing does have 400 horsepower so I can really tell once you get up there in the higher speeds, this thing really does want to start going. So definitely a nice touch there. So there you guys go. There's my little first impressions of the thousand foot pounds of torque. Can definitely tell a difference between the two. I mean, this being a dually, being a little more heavier, it actually feels faster than that uh, 2500 crew cab short bed. You know, this is a long bed dually and it actually feels faster than the other one. So pretty surprising, but I guess, hey, it does have what, 150 more foot-pounds of torque and 30 more horsepower. Here, kind of give you guys a little bit of a look of what the Tradesman front end looks like. These are the standard uh, headlights that you get on a Tradesman or a Bighorn without the uh, towing tech group, as you can see there. But, you know, no fog lights, things like that. I mean, this is a Tradesman model. You know, you got the black door handles, letting you know that it is a Tradesman model. But there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed these uh, new 2019 Rams as much as I have. These things are really nice. I really do just love that front end. I love that new front end on these things. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.
Thank <laughs> you.